Hey, what's up guys and gals? It's going to be a real quick hitting episode today. Just a uh, just a little a little nugget, a little nugget to chew on throughout your day here. Now, if you're listening to this podcast, I'm going to make some presumptions about who you are. You're probably if not a high achiever, you're striving to be one. You're a high performer. You maybe are an entrepreneur, a business owner. You're a person who goes out and gets the hard thing done. You're looking to be a little bit better today than you were yesterday. You you laugh in the face of a challenge. You love an obstacle because it's an opportunity for you to prove your mettle, to improve and to learn and to grow and to become the best manifestation of yourself possible. All right. Okay. So here's the thing. Um, this might not be so pertinent for, for you listening to this, or maybe it is. Maybe it is exactly what you need to be hearing right now is that. We hear the phrase all the time, self-made millionaire. Like, I am a self-made millionaire. Like, first of all, we don't do anything by ourselves. Everything is a communal effort in this world. You, know, you don't become anything without standing on the shoulders of giants or crushing the skulls of babies, I guess. I don't know. That's pretty horrible. But it's true. Like, we, history is a pretty horrifying thing. Genetics is a horrifying thing. Um, and I don't know where I'm going with any of that. But just recognize, we have this phrase self-made millionaire. But the other thing is, okay, eliminating genetics and our relationships and the people around us and all that stuff. We are self-made period, right? You're a self-made millionaire or you're a self-made 50,000 air. So if you're out there and you're making 40,000, $50,000 a year, you're self-made. You've self-made yourself into that. You've acquired the skills that make you a 50,000 air. That's a really weird phrase, right? It's a weird way to think about it. I think a lot of people, if you would just think about the fact that you are where you are as a result of the things that you've done and the things that you've allowed yourself to become. And yes, yes, I understand that society and opportunity and privilege, these are, these are real concepts. These are real things that make it harder for some people to succeed than other people. No doubt. I don't doubt. I, I don't disagree with that at all, especially as a, uh, a white male who definitely was born into a lot of opportunity that I wouldn't have gotten otherwise. But eliminating and, and standardizing for all that stuff because it doesn't, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what your circumstances are. It matters how you respond to them. And yes, if you're starting on the 90-yard line and somebody else is starting on the 10-yard line, then you're probably going to win the race, right? Like if you're running to the, the end zone. You're probably going to get there first, or I don't know how these things work. Maybe the person on the 10 yard line gets there first. I, I don't know. Somebody's going to get there first, whoever has the bigger lead there, right? So if we're trying to stack up and measure ourselves against other people and what they've accomplished, well, that's a fool's errand, right? So I can be a self-made millionaire, but I can look over and be like, what? Elon Musk is a self-made gajillionaire. And so therefore I suck. Well, that's a losing, that's a losing mindset right there. So I don't know where exactly I'm going with this today, but the thing that I, I feel very passionately about is that regardless of where you're trying to get to, recognize that it's going to be off the back of the skills that you acquire, the beliefs that you have, the traits that you deploy on a daily basis. And so focus on that. Focus on that more than the external circumstance, especially right now as we're looking at the macro you know, economic environment with just crazy things happening in the, in the world. Um, you could fixate on that and say, this is not a good time to invest or to build that business or to, to leave my W2 that I've been so cozy at for the last decade. You could look at all of that and say, and say that, or you could say, I'm going to focus on my skills, focus on who I am. I am going to lean into the opportunities that I have available to me because they are there. They are there. You just have to go and seek them out. And the biggest opportunity that any of us have is to continually be working back into ourselves and investing back into our mindset, into our health, our wealth, and our ability to communicate. Those are the four spheres of influence, if you guys didn't know. I talk about them a lot. but So all that's to say, you are self-made. So be very conscious about what it is that you're making. And realize that it's so, oh, it's so empowering and also terrifying to realize that at the end of the day, the buck stops with you. The ball's in your court. You can be whatever you want to be. Now it's up for you to, to decide what that is and to go make it happen. So this is your challenge. That's my, that's my declaration, throwing down the gauntlet. Who are you going to make yourself into? What do, you want to, what do you want to be? And recognize that the only person, the only person who can make that happen or not happen is you. So 
for those that don't know, I'm Anthony Vecino, best-selling author, serial entrepreneur, real estate investor. And I make this so that entrepreneurs just like you can hyper-focus on the things that really, truly matter in this life so that you can get the most out of it. So if you got any value out of this, do me a favor, hit subscribe, hit like, make sure that you uh, share this with somebody that you think would get some value out of it. And as always, I will see you back here tomorrow.